Hello everyone and welcome back. So continuing on with this discussion on questing in this round table meeting, Zach, where do you want to go from here? Right, well, if we're going to stay away from going into specifics on any of these uh, quest tasks for the moment, uh, the next thing that we could jump into, if I put that page away and grab another one and fly up here to the top, is uh, quest equipment. Now, this is specifically, I have a player quest in mind, but these could be for uh, NPC-based quests as well. Now, I only have two examples, so if anything that I have said along the way of coming up with quest tasks, what have you, gives anyone in the uh, in the audience or, of course, uh, on the call an idea for other equipment, then please, by all means, uh, let's get that out. So the I only have two of these. The first one is parcels. Now, I'm thinking a parcel is exactly the same as... Uh, what are they called? Containers yeah, in, in Eve. In Eve. It's, j it's literally just a box. And this is a way to streamline the process of moving items between players when what you need is actually not just an item, but like a list of items. So streamline um, multi-item trading. Especially in terms of quests. Because you may assemble a quest where you need somebody to bring you all of the ingredients for some recipe. You know, I need uh, you know, a pound of beef, I need some lettuce, some tomato, oh, a couple I'm of buns. Don't do that. Yeah, and a couple of slices of cheese, please. <laughs> and, and so what you do is you designate a parcel that is basically intended to hold exactly the items that you need. And, uh, and somebody fills that parcel and hands it back to you. No, it just it make there's so many ways in which that makes the, the user interaction easier. Just it's far easier to, uh, just to transfer the, the Arby's from your backpack to your sure person but than that it is to, to go through looking for everything and having to sort through your list and. You're basically saying that every single quest will require every single collection quest no. will require only one unit in your inventory. The inventory is a separate discussion. Potentially. It could, depending on how you wanted to handle inventory. If you wanted inventory to be slot-based, like uh, according to the, the World of Warcraft convention, then I can see where that does pose some interesting avenues for exploitation. However, if you're thinking of, avat of inventory more in the uh, Oblivion, uh, even EVE Online sense, where it's uh, more weight-based, how much you're actually carrying, then sure, it could take up a single slot and it wouldn't matter because it still weighs the same as it did before. So, and I'm, I'm not making any sort of discussion right now as to how inventory should be handled, though granted, I could. So does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So really, in the end, you can think of this kind of like a zip file that's not really compressing anything. It, it's just it's a cardboard box that you're going to tape up. When you go to turn something in, this runs a simple check against the quest list to make sure that everything that was on the list is contained inside that parcel. It just allows you to mail one thing as opposed to a whole bunch of other things. Now, the way I was conceiving of these being created, uh, and this is, pr I think Jason already said he didn't like this, which is totally cool. But I was just thinking that um, you would, you know, from within your inventory... You would just simply uh, right-click the items that you needed uh, to, like if you didn't have a parcel at this point, you just right-click, maybe starting with one item or multi-select a big group, and just say, create quest parcel. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, me personally, of course, this can be shot down. I'm more of a, a fan of, you've got to go to a local vendor or the market or something and purchase parcels, and parcels can be of the different post sizes. Office. Yeah, I you've mean, got to, you've got to go and get your FedEx envelope. To put I mean, it in. buy, in, build, in World of Warcraft, create. I can go and buy larger size bags. I have to go to the auction house or vendors. Um, and Eve, if I want to go buy containers, and and regardless, that, well, again, regardless of where they actually come from, you could just have to have a certain number of parcels in your inventory to even do this process. Then I have no problem with it, and, and that it really doesn't change anything that I'm saying here. But the idea is that you would you right click and you would have to. Um, to designate which quest it's associated with. So it would basically, it would kind of open up your... Uh, well, your what might, can I... I you, go, you, yeah, if, absolutely. If, you if, can if, totally uh, cut me off while I'm talking. So go ahead. Rather than that, if, if you take the right click to the quest menu, to your, to your quest log, if you right click on the quest and it has a create parcel 
that would be strike me as a, as a more straightforward way to go about it. Because in, in all honesty, we're starting to get into a discussion was... that is way uh, way deeper than I had originally intended okay, it to sorry. go. But uh, but yeah, I really, all I want to do is have some way where you can associate this parcel with a particular quest. That way, you can see on your end easily and quickly by, via some interface means that we have yet to design whether everything that you have in this parcel meets the requirements for the quest. So you know this is ready to, you know, more or less tape up, slap a label on, and drop in the mail. So that was one piece of equipment. It's a very simple piece of equipment. Uh, whether or not they get created, purchased, you know, chewed out of the very bark of a tree somewhere is, is, is really kind of beside the point of the idea of having them in the first place. The other one that I had mentioned, I actually did call these by name, is the idea of survey probes. Now, a survey probe, I'm conceiving of having two primary uses. But I'm already envisioning there could be multiples. Um, first, provides info about terrain. Uh, you know what kind of exactly? You know, geological survey. Flora. What kind of stuff is found in the soil? Uh, what kind of quality is the soil for growing this, that, and the other? What kind of things might you expect to be able to mine out of this, out of the ground? You know that sort of stuff. Now, um, the other thing would be to allow other players to access the data. And this is kind of important. And view the terrain. So it also kind of works like a security camera. And at some point, if somebody wanted to exploit it for those purposes, you probably could. Uh, at least like with, a, little, a little Mars rover. Sure. W within the, uh, the scope that uh, I kind of define here really quickly, then you probably could exploit it for all kinds of, I would think, fairly benign reasons. You know, if you wanted to use it as a security camera, you you could, but I think we should probably have equipment that does that anyway, um, and you wouldn't have to be at an actual uh, a real estate agency to use it. Because I'm only picturing being able, like, if, if you want to take a look at the contents of a specific survey probe, you need to go to a realtor office. The reason I thought of that is because, well, one, it does keep the exploitations down to a minimum. But the idea you're going to have these to, to pass out to another player is if you're trying to scope it out for somebody to buy something. You know, you're, you've got some land, you'd be like, hey, here's an awesome spot of land that somebody's going to want to buy. Well, we need to really narrow down where and when you can buy land anyway. So that needs to take place literally at a real estate agency. So it stands to reason that you can only access this data from another player while at a real estate agency. So that while you're there, you'd be like, oh, that is a cool piece of land. Click buy. Yeah, it's almost as if the, the, there's, a, there's an actual history to the, to, to the object, like Stevenson's Rocket or... It's. It was some guy who was looking for a way to sell things more efficiently came up with this device. Mm -hmm. Some realtor back in the day. And it's become, It's that, that's why it's part of, it's not. Because, it, yeah, there's so many nefarious uses you could put that to as well. Sure. And, and you, could, you still could, really. I mean, if you want to drop a oh, survey yeah. probe like in the middle of a city and then somebody else is literally at the realty office just looking through that probe just for the sake of snooping, I mean, you could. It's uh, it's a loss of a probe, and if you made the probes expensive, then that may not be worth your while. But if you're going to have um, other means to do that anyway, such as you know maybe you do have a wireless security camera item that you could drop down that people could tie into, if you're wasting a survey probe to do that, then you're just you know, you're you're wasting something. This kind of brings up: Are you envisaging sort of subcategories of subtypes of these probes, or are you do just one 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 answer? I haven't all? gotten that a... specific yet. To be perfectly honest with you, you could, you could have geological survey probes, you could have just visual survey probes, you could have soil quality survey probes, flora and fauna survey probes. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just. I didn't know if you were envisaging for for whatever reason just one a one fit. I, I, I was trying not to get overly specific. I mean, I could. It'd be really easy to get specific, but I'm trying to keep this very general just so that uh, really all I'm getting across here is that I've got these two situations where based on some quests that I thought of, we need some very specific equipment. Now, is there mm -hmm. anything, is there any type of equipment that anybody else can think of that might be particularly pertinent to quests. I mean, some of it, uh, you know, I didn't even write it down because it kind of stands to reason. If you're going to take on a transportation quest, you need some sort of a vehicle. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say, does this do? Uh, there's going to be situationally specific items. 
sure. you know the classic the classic uh, you know armor of fire resistance for fighting the dragon and things like that I, I which often is dealt with in a very i mean the particularly rift was terrible for that they would go here's the item you know here's the quest and one of the things that you get as part of the quest is the thing that you need to 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 pass the quest Oh, WoW does that too, though. I mean, really, because in the end, a lot of those, you're just getting a better item that would have really helped you do this, that, or the other. I'm, I'm getting a much stronger Warhammer now uh, that I really could have used to break that giant's kneecaps. Well, um, what about ways to track your bounties? Ways to track other players? Has that been thought about? It, it kind of sort of has, but I don't... I, and I, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying this is good or a bad uh, idea. What you just posed, but I don't know if that would classify as a particular quest item that you absolutely should have in order to get the thing done. Like in the case of a parcel, I'm saying that you can't get a quest done where you've got a hand, uh, you know, a, an array of items to somebody else unless you're sending it via a parcel. Right. It okay, has to go through a parcel. Uh, if somebody's going to scout out some land for you, that can only take place via some sort of survey probe. Well, actually, I mean, there's uh, with the with the parcels. If it it could be dependent on if you have the 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 ability or the time or just the happenstance to be able to deal with them face to face, just like the real world, you wouldn't use a parcel to to give something to your next door neighbour. Actually, I'm saying you would because it's just it's a way for you to make sure. Yep, it's a way for you to make sure before you hand the stuff off that what you have meets the requirements of the quest before everything is even handed off. It's like a um, checklist in a cardboard box put Ex into one. Exactly. It would, be a, it would be a requirement in the system I am envisioning. Whether or not okay. that's a good idea, is it, that well, can be discussed. Later on, since we're now at 12 minutes, later on, if we come up with other equipment that is extremely specific just for quests, mm -hmm. we can always come back to this Absolutely. layer and add it on. And as, as far as just handing something off to somebody else, I mean... It, I see a world where if somebody didn't even want to bother with the quest system, but they literally contact folks just like in WoW and just say, hey, if you'll give me this, I'll pay you that. And folks, you mutually agree to that. It doesn't even fall into the quest world. That's just people having their own hand-to-hand -hand commerce. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about for parcels would generally be more long range. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up this video, and we will see you guys back in the next. Thanks a lot.